Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from Dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a really nice, simple but stylish looking logo reveal in After Effects which is really simple and easy to create. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects and this is our main composition which is... 1920 into 1080 30 frames and 10 seconds long enough so let's hit ok now the first thing that i'm going to do is create the shapes so to create the shapes i'm going to select the ellipse tool and let's select kind of a gray color so we can see it we can change the color actually we don't need the color so and set the stroke to 100 pixels and hold alt control and shift by dragging it so we have a perfect circle just like that Really simple and easy. Let's rename this to one. You can rename it to anything that you want. I'm going pretty simple. So let's go to ellipse one, ellipse path one. And you can play around with the size. So I'm going to set this to 500. And then what I can do is I'm going to add trim parts. There we go. And then we can animate the stroke just like this. Really simple to do. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start from 10 frames. Let's set this to 0. Create a keyframe on the end property. Go to around, let's go to around 3 seconds maybe. Or that is just too far, maybe 2 seconds. And set this to maybe around, let's go with, let's go with 60%. And let's offset this up as well. So here we have a simple animation so what i can do is i can go to 20 frames create a keyframe on the start property go right over here at two seconds and set this maybe around let's go somewhere here so maybe 30 percent hit ok so now we have something like this as you can see really simple animation let's select the keyframes and hit f9 to ease ease those keyframes go to graph editor select this and just drag it just like that then select this maybe drag it a bit just create a curve like so so we have a really nice and subtle animation as you can see yep that is looking pretty good then what i can do is i can select the layer or the shape layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it hit r to bring down the rotation properties and let's rotate this up just like that and as you can see it's not rotating properly and the reason is the anchor point was not in the center so let's center this up pretty quick i should have done that probably before because as you can see if i rotate this it's not gonna work so what i can do is i can go into the contents ellipse path one or maybe in the transform ellipse and rotate this up what am i doing i can just go into actually trim paths and offset this up it was that simple i was just wasting my time i guess so let's set this to 180 degrees so now we have something like that as you can see it looks pretty good maybe i'll increase the stroke to around 200 pixels yep that looks kind of interesting i think i'll go with this then what i can do is i can select this and hit ctrl d to duplicate it or maybe just hit ctrl z select the first one and hit ctrl d to duplicate it and let's change the color so we can see him and distinguish them hit uu two times to bring down all the properties and let's scale this up to maybe around there and set this to let's go with maybe let's go with 150 pixels and let's offset this up somewhere around there maybe and i'm doing it pretty randomly as you can see so yep this is looking pretty good let's duplicate it hit ctrl d hit uu to see all the you know property and let's rotate this up just like that maybe i'll keep it around somewhere there and let's rotate this one again or offset it we are basically offsetting it not rotating it so somewhat like this yep that is actually looking pretty good and let's 
add a background pretty quick so hit ctrl y to create a new solid rename this to bg for background make it white or whatever color that you like that rhymes white or whatever color that you like that was lame actually anyway so here we have our basic animation yep i'm kind of happy with that so let's what i can do is i can just pre-comp this so i'm gonna pre-comp the animation pretty quick so let's call this three comp number one and basically we need to pre-comp each and every comp just like that and then we can go into the composition drag in the image that you want i'm going to use this image for now and set the image track mat hit f4 if you can see the track mat option set this to alpha mat so you can see right over there the image is getting revealed with the stroke so i'm gonna do i'm gonna do the same thing with this shape i guess not this one yep this this shape let's drag in the image and set this to alpha mat so you can basically get the idea of what i'm going for you can basically add as many shapes as you want so let's go to this one drag the second image oh this is the first one Drag the second image set this to alpha mat let's go to i guess this one is remaining so let's drag in the second one right over here and let's set this to alpha mat so there we go this is looking pretty good as you can see so to make it look even more complex what i can do now is select the stroke and hit ctrl c to copy it paste it in the main composition turn this on set the stroke to around maybe two pixels hit uu and increase the size a bit so we have the strokes like that maybe i'll set this to three pixels set this to four so now we have this really cool looking stroke which i can rotate it by the way i guess no we can't rotate it we can't do anything we can't rotate it so let's hit uu go to offset and basically we can offset this hide the control layer with the offset yeah there we go we can offset this something like that let's duplicate it hit control d uu offset this as well so let's go to trim parts and offset this just like that and the same thing i'm going to do with the small shapes as well so this is oh this is not the small shape this is the small shape control c control v and let's set this to maybe let's keep it at three pixels as well and let's set uu let's increase the oh i'm gonna need to offset the trim parts maybe somewhere around here and increase the size pretty quick so something like that you yep, know that is doing pretty good actually let's duplicate this and increase the size maybe a bit more and offset this just like that and i'm doing it pretty randomly you can take your time you can make it as complex as you want you can also do this thing with a triangle or maybe a you know rectangle or square something like that maybe i'll just duplicate this one as well again scale this up a bit and offset this a bit something like that or maybe i'll just decrease the size not the size but the scale somewhere around here just to give it a bit more randomness and just select this and just drag this right over here so now we have something like that as you can see it looks really really cool now what i can do is let's create a new camera oh where is the camera there we go 28 millimeters hit ok and yep we need to make all the layers 3d except the background let's create a new null object and let's add the parent option let's parent the camera to the null so this is our control layer so let's rename this to control So now we can handle our camera with the null object. So now we can play around with some stuff, make the null 3D and play around with the Z position basically. 
but the first thing that I'm gonna want to do is switch to top view and display the shapes a bit so what I can do is I can just set this to active camera go to view create a new viewer and set this to top view so we can see what's happening select this one and I'll move it maybe back something like that this one I'll move it somewhere around let's keep it right over there this one I'll move a bit right over here and this one oh, so this one and let's move it right over here so we have something like that okay we don't need it oh let's keep it right over there and let's select the control layer that is our camera control hit R to bring down the rotation or hit P to bring down the position and we can animate the position so I'm gonna go all the way out just like right over here go to 10 frames create a keyframe go to around 2 seconds and bring this back to basically 0 I guess yep so let's see what we have yep this is looking pretty good let's select the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease those keyframes go to graph editor and create a curve like so so may maybe I'll just see what we have yep that is actually looking really really cool I guess yep that is actually looking pretty cool yep perfect we can close this up we don't need to see it anymore let's drag this control shift edge so we can hide all the control or guide layers not the guide layers basically the control controllers I guess the con I don't know what it is called but I think it's called the control edges or something like that I don't know if you know let me know in the comment section below it's basically called the layer controllers maybe I don't know anyway so here we are with our basic animation and obviously I'm gonna turn on the motion blur because motion blur makes everything looks good that's what I feel as you can see I wasn't wrong but it also increases the render time a bit but it makes things look really nice and organic I feel so now one more thing we need to do is add some drop shadows and let's add some drop shadows pretty quick maybe I'll increase the distance to something like there rotate it maybe and uh, let's bring down the opacity keep it really really minimal and increase the softness just to give that really nice depth to the scene maybe a bit something like that yep, that looks pretty good let's control C to copy it control V to paste it and just rotate the position of the shadow something like that control V to paste it up and rotate the position just like that and on this one as well there we go so now as you can see we have some really nice depth in our scene which makes it look really really nice for now I'll just turn off the motion blur just to keep on moving a bit faster you can see it looks really really nice now you can add more and more strokes to make it look even more complex and nice so now what I can do is select the layers accept the background pre comp it let's call this animation hit ok and then let's go to around I guess 2 seconds hold alt and close bracket to crop this up hit ctrl D to duplicate it right click time and enable time oh time reverse layer not enable time keep it right over there so now we have the reverse animation as well which looks pretty cool and with this reverse animation our logo is gonna come up so let's pretty quickly I'm gonna add my logo let's drag it up center this up let's scale this down a bit maybe around 25 oh that is just too much maybe somewhere around there I hope that is in the center there we go let's go right over here 
create a keyframe on the scale property, go back in time. Let's set this back to zero. Select the keyframes, hit F9 to easy ease those keyframes, go to graph editor and let's create a curve like so. Let's see what we have. Yep, that is actually looking not bad, but maybe I'll stretch this a bit. Maybe F9 to easy ease those keyframes. Let's change the curve a bit. So maybe around just like that. Yep, that is looking pretty good. So it's really simple and easy to create. Let's turn on the motion blur. Oh. Add a motion blur to the logo as well. Let's see if we have our motion blur. I don't know why it's not showing up. Yep, there we go. So it's really simple, easy to create, but kind of cool stuff to create a really nice photographic, you know, if you have some, you know, if you are a photographer, or motion designer or something like that, this intro can make it look really, really nice. And it is just a basic idea of how you can create some really cool stuff. You can obviously make it look even more complex than this. It's basically not even complex, but you basically get the idea, right? So, yep, that is a wrap for today. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. And if it was, don't forget to subscribe, comment and like and I'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care. Thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.